Well, thank you uh, for joining us today. Um, we're just going to have a quick chat before you go on to do your show here uh, at the Bloomsbury Ballroom. How does it feel, sort of playing back um, Fox Face now for again? Because that's what you've been playing for the last three nights. Is it a trip down memory lane? Yeah, it is a trip down memory lane. It's really, really good fun, although yeah. I was quite scared on the first night. Really? So it's kind of remembering songs from 18 years ago. Because so, yeah. quite a few of them we do live generally, but there's a lot that we've never, never played. Never done mm. before, yeah. And there's, yeah. there's kind of the things that we've really cool songs as well <laughs> that we do sure. as well, that interludes. Yeah. And, so we're doing everything that's on the album. Yeah. So that's quite fun. Do you feel kind of like, I mean, do you look back and you're just like, God, that's so great, you know, the things that, you know, you feel so really proud of the work that, you know, you did back then, I mean. Uh, yeah, I do. When you, when you put things together, and also, you know, it's not like I sit at home and listen to our own albums no, very often, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. And we went, you know, rooting around looking for sort of extra stuff that we'd recorded around that time. That was quite exciting. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, because I mean, this year you're going to be releasing um, you know, the whole back catalogue in, in pairs of albums. I mean, again, just sort of like going back through all the old old songs, is it just like, just a, I don't know, really revealing to you is how, how you've evolved as, as kind of songs? Yeah, it sounds really <laughs> revealing, or like, really like, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Other bits that kind of stand out that you sort of hark back to and just really, really enjoy remembering. Yeah, it really reminds you of all the things that were going on in your life at the time you wrote the song. So yeah. Sometimes you just think, what the hell is that about? What the ridiculous yeah. lyrics. <laughs> Other times you go, oh, that's good. Yeah. Do you tend to agree on, on, the, on the good ones or the bad ones? Or do you have Generally, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's a couple of things that we yeah we weren't sure whether we should put them on as bonus tracks, but they really just yeah. be on the pile. Yeah. So, um, it doesn't seem like barrel scraping, but no, I think there's, I mean, it's like, there's, there's been there's been things, that, a couple of things that none of us can remember doing like, at all. Really? Yeah, also, yeah. like no memory of singing yeah. it. Yeah. Really. None. How can that happen? No. No, I don't remember. And, and some other songs that we didn't finish and that we're, we're these sound really good. Why didn't we put these on the album? Are you going to be putting those those ones as bonus? Yeah. 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 And so London um, conversations, I mean, that was kind of like a best of as well. And um, London's been such a massive theme throughout all your music. How do you feel about London now? Do you still love it? Do you still get a buzz out of being in London? Or has it changed a lot from sort of back in the 90s when you, you were kind of doing your thing originally? Uh, I mean, so I don't live in London anymore. So um, I, I still get really excited when I yeah. come into London. So yeah. it's kind of... Uh, Kept going. <laughs> I was yeah. walking along with my kids today, and they both said, "We want to live in London." And I was like, "Don't." <laughs> yeah. Maybe when you're a bit older, you know, yeah. we'll come back. But no, I love it. I mean, I, I was drawn to London at a very early age because I grew up quite near yeah. in Windsor, and um, right. I don't know, it's just like a magnet. You know. Yeah. Do you think it's? Cha I mean, how, what, what, how would you say the music scene's kind of changed in the last sort of ten, fifteen years? Is it? What do you, do you think it's still very cutting edge, or do you think it's kind of? moving different directions? Um. A lot of the venues that we used to go to when we, when we first started have, have gone. Um, yeah. but the whole thing just generally moved east. Um, I think I've always been... Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, me and Peter are both from Croydon originally, but I sort of like moved to North London 20 years ago and I sort of stuck in this sort of like little segment of London that I, I know and like really you know, quite yeah. a lot. So. Uh, um, yeah, the venues we, I used to go to, most of them have gone. It's like the Falkland, Black Horse in Camden, uh, Electric Ballroom's going to go yeah. at some point soon. But um, but no, I mean, there's, there's still um, still new places opening, and it's, yeah, I think it's just it's just shifted. Then London always does that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this year's sort of seen a kind of resurgence of kind of electro pop scenes, the Little Boots and the Rue. Is that is that kind of like nice, comforting feeling for you? Do you feel like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it? at last? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Was the lecture crash and Indian <laughs> stuff? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. We were just talking about Larue backstage yeah. a minute ago. Um, I've seen, yeah, I've seen Little Boots a couple of times. She's great. Yeah. Um, our ex drummer's working with her at the moment, which is quite quite oh, nice. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you might put in a good word for us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fantastic. I mean, because she's you know sort of very sort of unique kind of. She's not sort of an identikit singer who's just who's been manufactured. I think she's really no. sort of. I think that's nice, and I think. I mean, do you feel sort of releasing or reissuing all your albums is kind of like it's kind of a, a good moment to do that? That you know, people are going to be quite responsive to to the music. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it, it, I think um, it seems to be like a general early '90s thing, something yeah. underground at the moment. It's like a, a DJ at this club called Martin a few weeks ago mm -hmm. in in Highbury, which was like all early '90s. Yeah. Um, sort of 
a lot of stuff I didn't like. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonder stuff and Carter and things like that getting played, but uh, it was um, yeah, it just needs and it was packed, you know. So it's yeah. like it's a yeah. general. It's always a sort of twenty-year cycle, isn't there? Where things were twenty years suddenly become interesting to yeah. kids that mm. were born about twenty years ago. That's right. And so it's on the new material you've got, um, Method of Modern Love, which you worked on with, is it Richard X? Mm. How did that come about? How did you, because you hadn't worked with him before, is that right? Um, I think we we knew he was a fan of ours, um, but we'd never met him before, and I thought, like, I can't remember how we got in touch now. Yeah, um, I think we just called him up, yeah. <laughs> said, do, do, do you want to do something with us? Um, no, I, I know what it was. He was, doing, he was doing a mix of a song called This Is Tomorrow, which is on um, uh, London Conversations as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, while we were in the studio with him, he said, "Oh, I've got this song that um, him and Hannah, his, his partner, wrote, uh, Method of Modern Love." And yeah. you know, he said, "Oh, I sort of thought it'd be good if Sarah sang it." So yeah. that was basically that. So uh, our input right, was right. fairly minimal. But that's Sarah and Richard, really. Yeah. yeah, it's really kind of classic pop. I mean, do you sort of feel really good about that kind of sound sort of coming through now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then so burnt out, burnt out cars. That's the sort of next one you've got going. That was with Denomania, is that? Mm. Yeah. 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 What was it like working with them? Because they're being also they're kind of massive now. And they're really it, yeah, it's weird because I mean, like we were. I think you know the, the Brian Higgins' first hit was he's on the phone. His first production hit. So we've known him since he was uh, living in a cupboard in East Grinstead, yeah. uh, and now yeah. he's in Alice in Wonderland's old house in like a fiefdom in Kent. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. And um, so with the rest of, I mean, so will you be working on new material for the rest of the year as well, alongside the reissuing of the albums? What do you have planned? Well, yeah, we've started, started writing stuff again recently. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, obviously, like dig, digging with old stuff out is actually sort of quite time consuming. And it's like, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, we're, we're hoping to do some, yeah, put some new stuff out next year. Yeah. yeah. And will your next sort of bunch of shows be in the summer to support the next? Albums, the next pair of albums coming um, out. I do lots of festivals throughout the summer. Latitude and Mountain. Yeah. Right, yeah. And some, oops, yeah. That's mostly folk festival. Uh, mostly folk festival. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We've curated yeah. the whole day, so that's quite exciting. Excellent. A new slant on folk. <laughs> yeah, it's not very really fun. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some folk there. Yeah, we are. Yeah, then uh, I suppose plan more gigs and things after that. Yeah. What's, sort of the, what's the next two albums to come out? Um, so Tough and Sound of Water mm. are coming out in July. In July. And then you've got another two in the autumn. Yeah. And then the beginning of the 2010. It's such a long process. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just kind of like, Those yeah. things come around very quickly though, because it's like sure. quite a fair, fair bit of uh, getting the artwork and the notes. Finding yeah. old yeah. dats and things. Yeah, old photos and posters. Yeah. And, yeah. and for each, each one then we've been interviewed and about the whole process. It's sure. been really interesting actually for us to kind of trawl through the memories and yeah. see it all put together. Yeah, yeah. So it makes it more special. Yeah. yeah. So it's like writing your biography for Yeah, yeah. It's like reading your obituary. <laughs> <laughs> Going through your old diaries maybe. Yeah. Something like that. And Sarah, do you have a do you have a song that kind of resonates the most with you that you've been performing recently that you love singing the most, or that? Um, I've been really enjoying this this with this tour, singing "Can't mm. Sleep," which is from Fox Space Amateur. I, I know we did live probably yeah. up until Years about ninety three or ninety four. Mm. Probably stopped doing it, then. Well, and that's going really well. I'm really enjoying singing that. Yeah. That's great. And London belongs to me as well because yeah. I remember we used to do that. We used to do some mad sort of weird Supremes type dance moves where we ended up like this oh, at the end. Brilliant, and it was brilliant. a sort of freeze we're there for ages. You know? <laughs> and. Uh, so we've been doing that again without the dance moves for, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Me and Bob did again. Yeah. <laughs> and that's been really nice. So yeah. I've been singing all these songs that are a lot higher than I normally, because the stuff I did earlier on seemed to be quite a lot higher, wasn't it? Yeah, we never bothered to um, check. Find, find <laughs> no, the right, right key. Find the right key. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so it's quite nice, though. Stretchy. Excellent. And, and well, that, you're looking forward to that tonight then, to, to doing that particular song. Yeah, both of those I've been yeah. really enjoying. Yeah, that's great. Well, I hope the show goes well tonight. Um, thank Thanks. You for your time. Thank you. Thank you.